Hi, my name is Mike. In today's video, I'm talking about hell from the book of Enoch. Um, many Christians nowadays don't believe in a, in a hell. They think when you die, that's it. You either go to heaven or you die and that's it. Uh, they don't actually believe in hell. They think it's a fable or fairy tale. Dante's Inferno, you know, like a story. Um, but I want to prove in, in scripture as well that there is a hell and that people that have committed crimes don't just die and that's it. Can you imagine people like Hitler and others that killed multiple people, killed, killed and tortured multiple people, they're just going to just die. Oh, that's it. And no punishment. That's not the way God works. There is punishment and it's clearly written in scripture and in the book of Enoch as well, which I'm going to try and focus on today. But firstly, let me just show a scripture that Jesus mentioned about hell. As Jesus mentioned about hell many times in scripture, but I thought this particular one was great. Uh, in Matthew 25, 31 to 46. So Matthew 25, 31 to 46. When the Son of Man shall come in his glory and all the holy angels with him, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory, and before him shall he be gathered all nations, and he shall separate them one from another, as the shepherd divided his sheep from the goats. And he shall set the goats on his right, uh, his sheep on his right hand, and the goats on his left. Then shall the king say unto them on the right hand, Come ye blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungered, and ye gave me meat. I was thirsty, and ye gave me drink. I was a stranger, and you took me in. Naked, and you clothed me. I was sick, and you visited me. I was in prison, and you came unto me. Then shall the righteous answer, saying, Lord, when saw we thee hungry, and fed thee, or thirsty, and give thee drink? When saw thee a stranger, and took thee in, or naked, and clothed thee? Or when saw we sick, or in prison, or came unto thee? And the king shall answer, and say unto them, Very I say unto you, Inasmuch as you have done it unto one of the least of these my brethren, you have done it unto me. Then shall he say unto, unto them on his left hand, Depart from me, you cursed, into everlasting fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was hungered, and you gave me no meat. I was thirsty, and you gave me no drink. I was a stranger, and you took me not me in. Naked, and you clothed me not. Sick and in prison, and you visited me not. Then shall they also answer him, saying, Lord, when saw we thee hungry, or thirsty, or stranger, or naked, or sick, or in prison, and did not minister unto thee? Then shall he answer them, as much verily I say unto you, inasmuch as ye did it not to one of the least of these, ye did not to me. And these shall go away into everlasting punishment, but the righteous into life eternal. So that was one of the scriptures. Um, that Jesus referred to hell and if you read in the Bible as well you'll see other references to hell but I wanted to concentrate um, mainly on the book of Enoch. Uh, firstly let me just say that Enoch is re referenced in scripture. Uh, let me tell you a bit about Enoch. Enoch was the great grandfather of Noah. Um, Enoch lived for 365 years before God took him before the flood of Noah's day. Um, let me just read some scriptures about that Jude one fourteen. it was also about th these that Enoch the seventh from Adam prophesied saying behold the Lord comes with ten thousand of his holy ones also if we read Hebrews Uh, 11 5 to 6 so Hebrews 11 5 to 6 by faith Enoch was translated that he should not be see death and was not found because God had translated him for before his translation he had this testimony that he pleased God but without faith it is impossible to please him for he that come to God must believe that he is and that he is a reward of them that diligently seek him and also uh, read Genesis chapter 5, 18 to 24. But with thee, sorry, chapter 5, sorry, 18 to 24. And 
Jared lived 162 years and he begat Enoch. And Jared lived after he begat Enoch 800 years and begat sons and daughters. And all the days of Jared were 960 and two years and he died. And Enoch lived 60 and five years and begat Methuselah. And Enoch walked with God after he begat Methuselah 300 years and begat sons and daughters. And all the days of Enoch were 360 and five years. And Enoch walked with God and he was not, for God took him. So Enoch is referenced in scripture. And even the early Christians, um, as the book of Enoch was considered as scripture in the epistle of Barnabas, and by many early church fathers, such as Athergarus, Clement of Alexandria, Arrhenius and Terulium, if I said that right, who wrote in 200 years after Christ died that the book of Enoch had been rejected by the Jews because it purportedly contained prophecies pertaining to Jesus Christ. Um, the book of Enoch was estimated to be date back as far as 200 to 300 years before Christ. Um, various Aramaic fragments found in the Dead Sea Scrolls, as well as Koenig Greek and Latin fragments, are proof that the Book of Enoch was known by Jews and early Eastern Christians. Um, so now let's read some passages from the Book of Enoch regarding um, hell. This is from... Enoch's first book, chapter 21, and I'll just read uh, from that uh, chapter. If you can pick up a book of Enoch, um, you can get one on Amazon or other places. Um, it's an interesting read. I've not completely read all of it, um, but I've, I've read uh, some of it so far. Um, and it goes quite in depth about hell. I know some Christians are going to reject this message and think of the book of Enoch uh, is, is, you know, why it was taken away from the Bible, so it must be not part of the Bible. But like I said, the early Christians used it. Um, so this is chapter 21. And I proceeded to where things were chaotic, and I saw there something horrible. Do you remember the first scripture I read that uh, um, the ones that do bad are going to be sent with the devil and his angels, uh, a place for them? So this is says where the punishment of the fallen ones are going. Uh, this is where the, also the, all the bad people are going to go, that means. And I proceeded to where things were chaotic, and I saw there something horrible. I saw neither a heaven above nor a firmly founded earth, but a place chaotic and horrible. And there I saw seven stars of the heaven bound together in it like great mountains and burning with fire. Then I said, for what sin are they bound? And on what account have they been cast in hither? Then said Uriel, one of the holy angels who was with me, and was chief over them, and said, Enoch, why dost thou ask, and why art thou eager for the truth? These are the number of the stars of heaven, which has transgressed the commandment of the Lord, and are bound here ten thousand years. The time entail for their sins and are consummated. And from hence I went to another place, which was still more horrible than the former, and I saw a horrible great thing, a great fire there, which burned and blazed, and a place was cleft as far as the abyss, being full of great ascending columns of fire, neither its extent or magnitude could I see nor could I conjecture. Then I said, How fearful is the place, and how terrible to look upon. Then Ural said unto me, one of the holy angels who was with me, and said unto me, Enoch, why thou hast such fear and affright? And I answered, Because of this fearful place, and because of the spectacle of the pain. And he said unto me, This place is the prison of the angels, and here they will be prisoned forever. And if we read also Second Enoch, um, uh, you see here, Second Enoch, uh, chapter ten. Let me just grab that. Second Enoch, chapter ten. 
And these two men led me up on the northern side and showed me there a terrible place. And there were all manner of tortures in that place, cruel darkness and unilluminated gloom. There was no light there, but murky fire constantly flaming aloft. And there is a fiery river coming forth. And that whole place is everywhere fire and everywhere there is frost and ice, thirst and shivering, hence gnashing of teeth, while the bonds are very cruel and the angel spirits fearful and merciless, bearing angry weapons, merciless torture. And I said, woe, woe, how very terrible is this place. And those men said to me, this place of Enoch is prepared for those who dishonor God, who on earth practice sin against nature, which is child corruption after the sodomatic, sodomite fashion, magic making, enchantments and devilish witchcrafts, and who boast of their wicked deeds, stealing, lies, cumularies, envy, rancor, fornication, murder, and who accursed, steal the souls of men, who seeing the poor take away their goods, and themselves wax rich, injuring them for other men's goods, who being able to satisfy the empty, made the hungering to die, being able to clothe, strip the naked, and who knew not their creator, and bowed to the soulless and lifeless gods, who cannot see nor hear, vain gods, who also built you images and bowed down to unclean handiwork. For all these is prepared this place among these for internal inheritance. So anyway, um, I'll leave it there. Um, if you, like I said, if you do want to uh, grab yourself a book uh, of Enoch, um, I've got one. Uh, it's called uh, the Complete Books of Enoch. Um, it has Enoch one, Enoch two, and Enoch three, and so forth. So, like I said, I've only read part of it so far, but I just wanted to highlight um, some of the bits about hell. Uh, something the church doesn't talk about much. Hell. Anyway, I leave it there and say, anyone out there hasn't come to Lord Jesus, please don't wait as we're living in the last days. God bless. Bye-bye.